Now, for this first part then, we've got a typical partial fractions type question where we're given this fraction then and we've got to find these constants A, B and C. And to do something like this, all we need to do is just simply multiply both sides by this denominator here, x minus 1, x plus 2. So first of all then, if we do multiply both sides by x minus 1, x plus 2, we're going to get on the left 2x squared plus 5x minus 10. And then for the a, it's going to now be a multiplied by x minus 1, x plus 2. And when we get to the term with the b in, the x minus 1 will get cancelled out with the x minus 1 and leave you with b times just the x plus 2. And for the last term, we're just going to have c multiplied by x minus 1 because the x plus 2 will get cancelled. So we've got this line here and we now need to just try and eliminate some of these terms. And we can do that by letting x equal 1 for instance because it will make this bracket equal 0 okay, and this one 0. So it will just leave us with this term here. So if we say when x is 1 then on the left here we're therefore going to have 2 plus 5 minus 10. 2 plus 5 minus 10 and that now becomes equal to, and notice how I've changed the identical sign to an equals for this because we're working out a particular value. And so this term goes because this is 0. This term we said goes because this factor here becomes 0 and we've got 1 here plus 2 which is 3 so we end up with 3b. So 2 and 5 is 7, take 10 is minus 3 so we end up with minus 3 equals 3b so it follows that minus 3 equals 3b and clearly from this it follows that b equals minus 1. Okay so that's when we have x is minus 1. Let's see if we can make this factor 0 and we can do that when x is minus 2. So when x is minus 2 what do we have here? We've got 2 multiplied by minus 2 squared so that's going to be, well I think what we'll do is just put that in for the moment. 2 times minus 2 squared plus 5 times minus 2 plus minus the 10 and that's going to be equal to, well this is going to go to 0 so that takes that term out. This factor is 0 so that term goes and when we get to here minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so you end up with minus 3c. So if we work this out we've got minus 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 and then we've got minus 10 so that's minus um, 2 and then we've got minus another 10 so that's minus 12. Minus 12 is equal to minus 3c. Divide both sides by minus 3 and you end up with c equaling 4. Now finally we can't make any of the other factors go to 0 so you can choose any value you like for x. That's certainly one way of doing it or you could equate coefficients of say x, say x squared or x or just constants. I'm going to let x equal 0 though, okay? Up to you. Try it with other numbers if you like, okay? And you should get exactly the same result. But when x is 0, on the left hand side, this is 0, this term 0, so we just end up with minus 10. So therefore we have minus 10 equals and for here we have minus 1 times 2, so that's minus 2 times a, minus 2a. And then for this term, 0 plus 2 is 2, so we end up with plus 2b. And for the last term, 0 minus 1, so that's minus 1, times c is minus c. Now we know our values for b and c so we can put them into this equation so if we do that we've therefore got minus 10 
equals minus 2a. We know that b is minus 1, so it's going to be minus 2. We know that c is 4, so we're going to have minus 4. So minus 2 and minus 4 is minus 6. Add that to both sides and you get 6 minus 10, which means we've got minus 4 equals minus 2a. And if we divide both sides by minus 2, then a turns out to be 2. So it follows that a equals 2. So in summary then, we could just say that therefore a equals 2, b equals minus 1, and c equals 4. All right.